Hello everyone, welcome to the video on classification of penicillins and clinical uses of penicillins. In this video, I will explain about medicinal chemistry aspects and structures of penicillins. Penicillins are classified as natural penicillins and semi-synthetic penicillins. In semi-synthetic penicillins, you have all these types of uh, classification is there. And after that, I will explain about clinical uses of penicillins. This is my YouTube channel. You just type in my name, you will get the channel details. You have around 241 farmer related videos are there. If you like the video content, do subscribe and share. Let's get into the topic. So the basic penicillin structure is this one. Now, the side chain can be affected by an enzyme called amidase. This enzyme cleaves this amide link and forms 6 amino penicillinic acid and the side chain. The 6 amino penicillinic acid structure, stereochemistry, everything we have seen. Please refer the previous video to get the details of that. Now, the other side of the other side, the enzymatic side is penicillinase produced by bacteria or beta lactamase. Both of them are same. The enzymes can act on this thiazolin ring and break this ring. And this results in the formation of penicilloic acid. Penicilloic acids do not have any antibacterial activity and this is the major pathway by which bacteria gets resistance. Now, other important aspect, it has got this ring called as thiazolin ring. Now, see, this is the site of hydrolysis by bacterial penicillinase or by gastric acids. Penicillin Z, a natural penicillin, cannot be taken oral, orally. The reason is the gastric acid can break this ring. If the ring is broken down, it cannot show its activity. Uh, the ring, beta lactam ring, is called as pharmacophore, the essential ring to show mechanism of action. If the ring is open, no activity is seen. Now, the side chain, see the nature of this R group determines the drug's stability to enzymatic or residic hydrolysis and affects its antibacterial spectrum. So, you have only two classification of penicillins are there. Natural penicillins which are naturally isolated from fungal fermentation. The other penicillins, this R chain is changed. Remaining the rest of the ring is, is obtained from the fermentation. So, this is the reason why they are classified as semi-synthetic. Semi means only half, only R group is, is synthetically attached. Remaining things are natural one. Now, the change in R group can give... Uh, determine the stability against acid hydrolysis or enzymatic hydrolysis and it also gets the spectrum of activity, wide spectrum, extended spectrum and everything. Let us see the details of all these penicillins. Now, the first classification is natural penicillins. See, usually the penicillins are fermented from penicillinium chrysogenum, penicillinium chrysogenum. So, this fungal species is fermented and from that fermentation products, natural penicillins are obtained. See, natural penicillins, to get this benzyl penicillin, like natural penicillin, the penicillin, the, the medium for fungal fermentation is given with phenyl acetic acid. Phenyl acetic acid. When phenyl acetic acid is provided to that me medium, the side chain is attached and this side chain is benzyl group. And that results in the formation of penicillin G. See, penicillin Z is nothing but benzyl penicillin. Hence, it is occurred from a natural sources. It is called as a natural penicillin. But there are certain problems with this natural penicillins. The major one is, see, the penicillin Z has got short duration of action. The reason for short duration of action is it is immediately secreted from tubules. Tubular secretion is very high and it is rapidly eliminated. The reason for short duration of action is it is rapidly eliminated. Now, the second problem with the uh, natural penicillin like benzyl penicillin is, see it is, it cannot be taken orally. The reason is it is acid sensitive. So, in presence of H plus or gastric acid, the ring gets opened and that results in destruction of this antibacterial property. Now, the third problem with this penicillin natural uh, penicillin Z is, so it is also penicillinase sensitive. That means bacteria which can produce beta lactamase or penicillinase can also cleave this ring and reduces its antibacterial activity. Now, the last one, it has got a narrow spectrum of activity, narrow spectrum. So, most of the penicillins which are developed are to overcome these kind of shortcomings. 
The first one is it has got short duration of action, next it is acid sensitive, the other one penicillin is sensitive and it has got narrow spectrum of activity. Now to overcome this short duration of action, pens benzathione penicillin or benzyl penicillin is given along with procaine penicillin. This is in a suspension form, it is less water soluble hence it slowly releases the penicillin at, and increases the duration of action. Similarly, penicillin G is also given along with benzathione and this benzathione penicillin G is also a kind of suspension which slowly releases the drug and increases the duration of action. So, the short duration of action can be overcome by combining penicillin G with procaine or with benzathione. So, all these are considered as natural combinations. Now, there is one more natural penicillin is there, it is called as phenoxymethyl penicillin or penicillin V. Now, when this, look at the side chain. When the bacterial fermentation media is given with phenoxyacetic acid, sorry, when it is fed with phenoxyacetic acid and that results in the formation of phenoxypenicillin, that is nothing but penicillin V. Now, there is an advantage with phenoxypenicillin, this is acid resistant, that means it can be taken orally. Now, understand this the side chain oxygen can increases the ring stability and that is what results in uh, acid resistance. So, penicillin V can be taken orally. There are some other oral penicillins are also there. See, oral penicillins can also be called as acid resistance penicillins. See, all the acid resistance penicillins, the major group is oxacillin, cloxacillin, dicloxacillin. All of them are derivative of isoxazolyl ring. You can see this isox, if only isoxazolyl ring is there, it is oxo excuse me, it is oxacillin. If a chlorine substitution is there, it is cloxacillin. Two chlorine substitutions is called as dicloxacillin. See, as we have seen, this side chain is what determines acid sensitivity as well as penicillin A sensitivity. Remember, these three drugs are also resistant to penicillin A as well as acid. The increased bulk in this side chain will get penicillin A sensitive. The reason is if this bulk is increased, the penicillin A enzyme cannot go and, and reach this site to cleave this bond. This is what you call it as steric hindrance. So, these three drugs has got acid as well as beta lactamase or penicillin A sensitivity. Now, one more, there is one more uh, oral or acid uh, resistant penicillins are there. They are known as amino penicillins. You have this, uh, um, this side chain is there, amino benzyl. This is ampicillin. When at paraposition hydroxy group is there, it is called as amoxicillin. Both of them are known as amino penicillins because of the side chain amine group. Now, there is a significance for this amine group. In physiological pH, this amine group is protonated and it gets a positive charge. Because of this positive charge, H plus of gastric acid could not reach there because positive positive will get repulsed. And this is how it gets acid resistance. But amino, uh, uh, ampicillins, but ampicillin and amoxicillins are penicillin is sensitive. They have acid resistance, but beta-lactamase can cleave this ring. Now, next, the beta-lactamase or penicillin resistance can also acquired by increasing the side chain bulk. As I have told you, all isoxazolyls are penicillin resistance as well as methicillin you have dimethoxyphenyl penicillin is methicillin whereas when you have naphthyl substitution it is naphcillin is there. Both of them because of their increase in bulk they will also cause steric hindrance and beta lactamase cannot break this ring. So all of them are called as penicillin is resistance penicillins. So we have seen two different classification acid resistance and penicillin is resistance. Now the next one is uh, again, penicillin G has got narrow spectrum of activity. To increase the spectrum of activity, carboxypenicillins. See, look at this. The side chain has got carboxylic acid. Hence, they are called as carboxypenicillins like carbenicillin, carindacillin are, are produced. The next one, diophane ring containing ticarcillin is there. The next two drugs, medullocillin, piperacillin are known as uridopenicillins. Urido ring is, urido side chain is this one. And this side chain is is there in this groups C, NH, CO, NH. So, this is what is urido part is, hence they are called as urido penicillins. All this has got broad spectrum of activity. See, what happens is penicillins, the gram positive penicillins has got a cell wall, but gram negative, out of this cell wall, they have got a slimy layer is there. And penicillins, 
the function of penicillin is to break this cell wall. In order to break that cell wall, they need to pass through the slimy layer and this penetration ability is increased with this extended spectrum penicillins. So they will be effective against gram positive as well as gram negative. So this class is of broad spectrum parenteral penicillins. Now see, to remember easily the acid resistance penicillins, the mnemonic is vodka. Penicillin V, oxacillin, dicloxacillin, cloxacillin, amoxicillin. Whereas the penicillinase resistance or can be easily remembered by this mnemonic condom. Cloxacillin, oxacillin, nafcillin, dicloxacillin, oxacillin is given, meticillin. Now if you see, see this, oxacillin, dicloxacillin, they have got both the properties. They are acid resistant as well as penicillinase resistant. Now the major side effects are abdominal pain, anaphylaxis or hypersensitivity. In the previous video, I have explained the reason for hypersensitivity, black tongue, diarrhea, skin rash, stomach upset and sheezes. When penicillin gets into CNS, they may cause sheezes. Now the last one, the clinical uses of penicillins, see penicillins are obtained from penicillinium mold, they have got this beta lactam ring. They are used to treat pharyngitis, tonsillitis, scarlet fever, endocarditis, pneumococcal infection, streptococcal infection, diphtheria, anthrax and syphilis. To treat all these infections, penicillins are widely used. So this is about penicillins, chemical classification and clinical use. Thank you for watching this video. If you like the video, do subscribe and share.